It has been a wild one on the old stream farm, and we are back on it, man. Episode number five. Today is going to be a fun one because we are going to be getting the grounds ready. So all of the fields that we plowed together, we're going to make sure those are prepared, plowed if they need to be plowed up, uh, refertilized, things like that. We've also got a new baler that we're going to be adding in. I have found the cedar that I want to use, so this baler is no more. Uh, I've seen a couple of you guys saying, come on, DJ, just, you, you, you use that every time. So, Schultz Modding has sat down with me and helped me modify a uh, baler, actually the baler that we started the series with. So we're going to be jumping back and using that one. Two thumbs up. I also found a cedar that I want to use. And it's from SMI Modding. But first, let's say goodbye to the baler that helped us get to where we are right now. And now, let's jump in. Oh yeah, there's uh, some forestry stuff that's leased. We gotta figure out what to do with all that forestry stuff today as well. Uh, first things first is the cedar. Here's uh, the cedar we're going with. The Montana 600. The Mascar Montana. I modified it slightly to hold more seeds and to be direct drill, but that is about it. Six meter work with 120 horsepower. Uh, this is a really, really cool setup. You can do ridge markers, however, we are not doing that. We're also doing the limited version. The regular one is red, uh, but I figured I was like, you know what? Let's go with the black one, just because. And we're back to this baler again. I have been able to modify it, again, with the help of Schultz Modding, uh, to hold the 25,000 liter bells, the ones that we've been using. Basically, the bell type doesn't change, but we're back to this baler again. That way it doesn't have that one crazy working with. I have increased the working with a little bit, but it is, uh, as far as farming simulator goes, not unrealistic. It's the way that it should have been from the start. And we're gonna go with one of these for our bell wrapper. This is with the IBC and Pallet Stack mods, the 7850C Speedy. Now I have a version of this mod that is not out yet, uh, so I don't actually know if this is out for all platforms yet or not, but uh, hey, if you know, let me know. Uh, we've definitely spent some money, a lot more money than I wanted to spend, but uh, money's money. We gotta deal with it. Because we've got direct drill going on with the new cedar, well, we had direct drill with the other one, as you can see from uh, the areas that we did in the last one, I think we'll probably leave the fields the way they are after the first harvest. It's not gonna matter anyway, so that's good. Uh, one of the other reasons I went with the Mascar Montana was because it was seed only. You guys know I like to do fertilizer all by myself, and I hate having seed on there, or uh, fertilizer on there, so. Uh, seed only, please. Oh, I made a mistake, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I should have, uh, yeah, this, this equipment, poor, poor thing. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get everything else over there. Let's get this. Ooh, it fits on the back, too. Let's unfold it real quick and see. Yo, left side and then the right side. That's what I'm talking about. This is, like, perfect size for this. And it's a little bit bigger than what we had to begin with. Aha! Oh, now that is cool, man. That is very cool. It's handling everything without any issues. Look at that. <laughs> Speed past everybody. A uh, little bit of weight uh, transfer, but you know what? I would rather have weight transfer than no weight transfer. Uh, let's get this set up to oats. I think that's what we were planting. Actually, I don't even remember. Yeah, oats right there. All right. Yeah, we were doing oats. We're, we're cool, man. We're cool. I totally remembered what we were up to. Oh yeah, and the balers as well. Let's get those over here. Here we go. Totally didn't reset these over there. <laughs> now that that's over with, uh, it is time to get work done all up in this field. Drop it down, turn it on. Oats are going in and I could not be happier. Uh, also, one of the big things about the uh, round baler was I didn't enjoy stopping all the time. So increasing the capacity is going to help in multiple different ways. So of course, increase that capacity means I don't have to stop as many times as well. Plus, there was a, uh, a mod that I didn't even know existed. I believe it's the Round Baler Extension mod. Jules Monning sent that over to me as well. Yeah, Round Baler Extension mod. I uh, sent that over to me so that I would have that, and it basically stops the baler every time it, well, needs to stop. So I don't have to worry about stopping and this and that uh, i do have to worry about going a little bit too fast but you know what i'm kind of okay not going super fast if i don't have to stop as much it's still going to take longer than the baler that we had it's going to take twice as long but i would rather that be the case 
I am slowing down and, and chilling with this series. We're not going absolutely, well, I am. We're not going crazy. I love it. Oh, and I love this cedar as well. I may speed this up a little bit. Seven miles an hour is a little bit too slow. But I think maybe 10 or 11. Uh, 10 or 11 is all right. Yeah, this feels, this feels good. This field is done, baby. Yeah. Also, I realize you can turn this thing on and off even when it's unfolded. So maybe you could probably get a little two meter worker with that of it. So that is that. That is one of our fields. Then we've got this one right here. This way's a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to try and run two passes, maybe three. I'm actually not sure how many passes I need to be running around this thing. You know what? I think I got a bit of an idea. All right. So we got this whole thing, right? Eventually, the worker is going to be working this way, right? Okay. So we need to be running three passes on the ends and one pass on some of these smaller portions. So I definitely need to go ahead and start running this pass right here. Turn that on and go this way. Yeah, this is going to be the way to do it. Rocking and rolling, man. We're getting it done. Let's double check and see what we got as far as fertilizer goes. All right. Just kind of making sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. So this whole thing is going to be set up by the time it's all said and done. I'm so excited about that. Yes, we do get some different uh, textures as far as uh, what is being direct drilled on and what has well, been plowed up. Yeah, don't worry about that part. After the first harvest, it'll be totally fine. And this is the perfect, like the perfect cedar for this little series. This is a little, I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but this is a perfect, this is, this, oh, it's absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. Hey, there's a train. Now that's a perfect shot right there. Now the back down around at the bottom, let's go back and forth a couple times. Yeah, there's a little piece of wood right here. Again, I don't, I don't know where those are coming from. I mean, I do, but I don't, I thought I'd gotten rid of them all. This section over here is definitely going to be the weird one because I need to get like right to there. Yeah. And then lift it up because eventually, yeah, I mean, this is one of those like three side things. You, you know what I mean? It's going to have to come down here and turn around. Boop. We'll come back it up a little bit. There we go. Nice. We'll do this three times. Perfect. And now that we're right here, we can lift it up, make ourselves a, let's say a 90 degree turn, uh, 270 degree turn, I think is what we've turned it into. Drop it back down and go across. Nice. A little bit more of an overlap than I would like to have, but eh, it's fine. Also, I keep finding myself going a little bit faster than I say I'm going to. So I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. All right. We got three more. Uh, oh. Stop, dude. Three more little uh, mini passes right here and we'll be ready to hire them up on a worker. Before I hire the worker, I am gonna do a little bit more work right here on the field. Uh, just kind of get a few things scheduled. I say scheduled, uh, situated right here. Uh, there's a small little spot here that's gonna be kind of difficult, I think, for the worker. So we just hit that so the worker doesn't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure I should have uh, modified any of the seed capacity. Cause I'm looking at the seed capacity right now which was modified for 10,000 liters. And it's not even used 8,000 yet, or 800 yet. I think I had a 1,500 liter capacity beforehand. I think that's probably more than enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, now we can hire it up on the worker and let him do his thing through here. Now, what do we do? I guess we could do a little bit of house cleaning in here and put a couple of these pieces where they go. Hopefully the skid steer can take care of this. Uh, as far as backing it up goes, it won't be a problem. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if anything else is going to be a problem with this either. Uh, I can kind of do it. Best backwards driver in farm sim after all. That's not going to be fun getting out of there, but it'll work for now. <laughs> the other cool thing about this baler that I'm really digging is it doesn't have a built-in uh, wrapper on it. So we don't have to worry about trying to make a bale and like a, a grass bale, for example. If I want grass, we just make grass. And, and I don't have to bail it if I don't want to. Or, or, or wrap it. Oh, look at this. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. There it is. Yay. Uh, now, I talked about chickens in uh, one of the last ones. And I think we need to start investing in 
said chickens. Also, I don't think we need this anymore, but I'm going to keep it just in case. So here's what I think we are going to do. I think we are going to sell what we can. And by can, I mean all of it. Uh, 81,000 liters of all of the stuff. Then I say we buy some pallets because the pallets really aren't too expensive. 1,500 for a 1,000 liters. Uh, we're making money if we don't use our own. So I think that's what we do. We sell it and then we just buy what we need to feed the chickens. I acknowledge that this is still a very, very silly setup, but I gotta do my best here. Uh, let's go ahead, drive in here, collect some of our wheat. Uh, we don't have enough room for it all, but uh, we'll do our best. And I think we're gonna do it by the train. Dude, it's really cheap to do it by the train. Let's see. I don't, I don't actually remember how to do this. Switch hand tool, return rented train. All right. Yo, train's gonna arrive soon. It's at 6.6 .6 kilometers, 6.5. All right, so what it's telling me is that's gonna take some time, which gives us plenty of time to get over here and dump our grain in. It's one of the nice things about uh, silos like these. Also, sometimes you can use them to like, I'm not saying cheat, but... Uh, you can use them to move stuff around, and you can also use them as uh, uh, points to store your stuff. Anyway, this is where we are, and we've got to be able to get here from our main farm. So, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, the train actually moved very quickly. No way. All right. <laughs> what up, big dog? How you doing? Uh, you got here a lot faster than I was expecting. If you could just hang tight for me for a little while, we gotta make two passes through everything. All right, uh, here is number one. And again, I have no idea how in the world to get up there. I guess what we could do is come up this dirt road right here, which is right in front of us, hang a right, and then another right, and then a left, and then a left. Yeah, okay. Right, right, left, left. We could do this. I wanted to bring you guys along because it's super beautiful through here. So let's see if we can get her. And we're already stuck. You know what? I thought this was gonna be easy. Yet here we are. <laughs> Maybe coming through this way wasn't the best idea. All right, so there's that. And then this is a right on a bigger road. Much easier here. Okay, okay, okay. And then a left. Is this the left we take? This is the left we take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I, this is nothing like the main, or the, the first version of the map, so I have to figure out where in the world we're going. And then I think it's up here. It's not the first left, it's the second left. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's this one right here, I believe. Skirt, what up, dude? Please move. <laughs> Man, this truck is so just out of place when it comes to this map, but I don't even care. It's just super cool. Let's come across here. Yay! What up? <laughs> and then we will dump into here. And this will be the first part. Yay! On our way back, instead of going through the middle of town and trying to make two really tight turns, looks like we can just drive straight into the farm from outside there. So let's try to do that. Come around here, head out to the main road, crank a right, and then at the end of this, there should be a driveway for us to just fly right onto. There it is. And then this should be up by, uh, by one of our fields. Yeah. Now that worked. I'm going a little bit faster than I probably should be driving through here. But this worked. There's actually one more field up here. Field 13. Huh. Well, that worked way too well. All right, that's, that's definitely the way we need to go from now on. Quick babysitter check-in just to make sure that this guy's not done anything stupid. But it looks like it's doing just fine. We finally used almost 1,500 liters. We have 1,425 right now in seed. I've, I, I thought I modified it in a good way, but it just doesn't use seed. So we own all of this up here, but we don't own that field. And that seems to be the only field left. Which does that field cost? It looks like there's nothing in it right now. Boom, boom. It is 55,000. We've got 89. I don't know if it's a smart decision to take that over, but we could. Actually, it looks like it's... What is that? It's fully fertilized. 
It's not a crop. There's just nothing showing up. Oh, it's seeded grass. Oh, and back over to the train again. Hopefully this helps us make our money because wheat was paying way more here, $2,400 as opposed to uh, anything else. Get out of here, combs, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll get this dumped in and then we can run over to the train, wherever that is. I ran the wrong way. This. This is the way to run up to the train. <laughs> we'll run up here. We'll jump in and we'll go ahead and put this stuff in. If I have to, let's see. Do I need to open up? There we go. Yeah, we'll open that up. We'll start it up. 81,000. That is what we had. And it should make us a decent amount of money. 20 or 2.4 times 81. What was that? 300 grand? Man, just enough too. Uh, 90,000 liters there. All right. We'll close the top. And we will send it on its way. There's a couple ways we could do this, but I think the main way is going to be for us to go on a little ride. So let's do that. Down around towards the bottom of the uh, everything here. Oh, field 70. What is that? A placeable area? I guess so. Placeable areas. Let's, let's go, man. I haven't actually gone around through the map yet. So this will give me and maybe you guys as well a nice view of everything around the map. Bunch of trees in the way, I'll give you that much. Let's see if we can zoom back in a little bit. So we've got our, uh, uh, the, the, the sawmill. Yeah, totally forgot how to say that word out loud. And uh, we've also got an area where a train could come from the, uh, the south of the map. They, they don't do that, so don't worry about that. One of the other things I really like is like this, this bridge. It doesn't look new, it's old. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. I was trying to think if I've missed anything, if I could sell anything else at the <laughs> on the train, but I guess not. It'll be all right. Uh, let's see. How are we coming along? Man, we've got a ways to go. We'll just have to keep going. Is there a button I could hit to be like return train? Oh, there is a return train button in there. Yeah, you could just hit it at the, the thing and it'll send the train along and it'll sell what you've got. We got our animal dealer right over here. Very cool. Animal dealer in Farming Simulator 25 is going to be super epic. I'm really excited to see that. Uh, nice fuel shop here on the left-hand side. Give you an idea of where we are on the map here now. Going under the main highway that goes through the middle. And so on and so forth. We do need to get up there on the main highway and just to see how it works up there. I don't think I've been up there. So we haven't been outside the main farm since we've started. <laughs> Here's another grain elevator, so if you guys need to store anything else and you're around this area, uh, not a bad place to store some grain. Tell you what, man, Black Sheep Mining just did a killer, killer job on this whole setup here. Oh, there it is. All right, the train will now drive to such and such. And we've made our money. $203,000, and it only costs us $93 to lease the, uh, the train. Super duper cool. While our worker up here finishes up this field and we've got a couple grass fields we need to hit, we gotta figure out what to do with these trees. Uh, the trees are dead. They have officially died. They have stayed here for too long. All the leaves and everything have come off of them. So I need to figure out what to do. Uh, there are a lot of very time consuming things that could be done. Can I lift that? Nah. Uh, there's a lot of time consuming things that could be done. I think we need to just go with something easy. First things first is we need to get rid of that so we have no more temptation. Secondly, we're gonna pick up a cell point. This is from Yos Mining, the mobile wood cell point. Love this thing, it is awesome. All we gotta do is pick it up, walk around, and click the sell button, and it will sell the wood for us. So we don't have to worry about doing anything while I'm crazy. We don't have to worry about trying to get these big, pieces of wood and moved around and stiff. We're just good, man. We're just good. I can even sell the little piece of wood that came off of the field earlier. Ah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Six bucks. Not bad. And now all we got to do is come in here and sell that back again. Boop. Like it never happened. Finally, we are all done with that. Worker has completed their task and it is all set up. Oh, looks like there's a little bit that was missed up here. Let's see if we can hit 
that spot right there. I think I see it. We should be right on it. We drop that down. That should have taken care of it. It did not. Well, then I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Let's get this thing changed over to grass. There we go. And now we can seed this field. So this is the only field that we have to do because the rest of them, uh, well, they, they've kind of been taken care of on their own. So I don't have to mess with any of the other grass fields around. We're good. We didn't need to really mess with this one too much, but there are some spots around that need to be hit. So we hit them. Uh, all of these darker areas, those are the ones that we have to hit. So we shall. I'm also getting a very interesting setup here when trying to see this part. Uh, it just is what it is, isn't it? And the final touches are on. There you go. Take it, fold it up, turn it off. It is all good. I know it's not showing anything right now, but if we go with grass, you can see all the things that, well, are grass. Perfect. All right. We can put this thing away in uh, a little bit of fertilizing, I think, is going to be the last thing we do. Back on this big old thing. I am loving this tractor, even though I, I openly criticized how terribly it controls and handles. It's a cool tractor, and the fact that it goes just as fast backwards as it does forwards uh, kind of blows my mind a little bit. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed, but in the last video, we showed how you can go as fast forwards in this tractor as you can backwards making it, I think, one of the most um, beneficial tractors to have on your farm. Definitely, definitely one of the most beneficial tractors to have on your farm. All right, well, we got a little bit of work to do to get all of this fertilizer put down. And uh, after that, we should be good. Main field is done spraying. We'll take a look at that, fully fertilized. And we have a little bit more for this field down here. Nothing too crazy, but it'll be good to kind of knock it out. All right, what do we need to do? I guess just all the new areas that we've just fertilized or seeded rather, just kind of mirror those and that should be good. And there it is, all done, all done, all done. Yes, we could go around and do a little bit of spraying on the other fields, on some of the grass fields, but I don't really see a need for that and I don't really want to do that, so. Uh, I'm I'm happy with what we've got. No, oh, I can't make that turn. Let's let's put this thing in here. One day, one day. Hey, if anybody knows how to fix turning radius, let me know because I would love to extend this one a little bit. Uh, regardless, thanks for hanging out with me on episode number five. We will be back with episode number six, where we will likely be working on getting animals together. So we'll see you then.